Hello everyone, my name is Kate Tice, Senior Quality Systems Engineering Manager here at SpaceX. I'll be your host for today's Starlink mission, which marks SpaceX's 53rd launch of the year and 252nd overall mission to date. On your screen, on your screen there is a live view of our Falcon 9 rocket at Space Launch Complex 40 in Florida. We're currently uh, around T minus four minutes and 38 seconds. The range is ready to support and the weather is looking good. We only have a 10% chance of violating our launch commit criteria this evening. The teams are currently Strong tracking. They were heard the call out indicating that the strong back uh, is retracting from the vehicle, which is the structure that holds the rocket um, and actually lifts it to its vertical launch position. Once they're open up fully, or excuse me, once those clamp arms are fully open, that strong back will begin to retract. Retracts about two degrees initially, and then uh, even further whenever the rocket takes off. As I mentioned, that structure next to the vehicle, the TE or transporter erector, we use that to integrate the first stage, the second stage, and the payload uh, fairing all together in the hangar. We use that structure to also roll it out to the launch pad and then lift it to the vertical launch position. In about 15 seconds, we should hear the call out indicating that stage one locks load is complete. Stage one, lock those complete. All right, there's our call out indicating that the first stage is fully loaded with its liquid oxygen. Falcon 9 completed its fuel loading uh, prior to going live with the webcast this evening. For our fuel, we use rocket grade kerosene uh, known as RP-1. So that's fully loaded already on both the first and second stage. First stage is now fully loaded with all of its liquid oxygen or locks, and we're still undergoing the final load of locks on the second stage, and we expect that to wrap in about 30 seconds. All right, still waiting for confirmation of the second stage lock load, expecting that to wrap up any second. Now the booster- Stage two lock load is complete. And there's that call out. Now the booster or the first stage of the rocket that you see on screen is flying for the fourth time today, having previously supported Crew-6, SES-03B, M-Power, and a past Starlink mission. Ground gas close up. After liftoff and stage separation, this booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas, which you see there on your screen. As many of you know already, successfully recovering parts of the rocket allows us to refly the most expensive parts, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. Coming up in a couple seconds, we should hear a call out indicating that Falcon 9 is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. All right, that tells us the flight computers have now taken over the launch countdown. LD, go for launch. And there's our final go for launch tonight coming to us from our launch director or LD. So with that, let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 22 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds and counting. T 
minus five, four, three, two, one, ignition, liftoff. Vehicles pitching downrange. And when the chamber pressures are nominal. We're now at T plus 35 seconds. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 from Cape Canaveral, Florida at 11.41 p.m. Eastern Time. Next major milestone coming up. Nominal power and telemetry. Next major milestone is max Q, and that is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Vehicle supersonic. That call out there tells us that the vehicle was traveling faster than the speed of sound. And there's that call out for max Q. Again, that's when the rocket experiences the greatest amount of external stresses. Now we're less than a minute away from a series of events that will happen in quick succession. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, second engine start one, and fairing separation. Main engine cutoff, or MECO, as it's written on that timeline there at the bottom of your screen, that's where all nine Merlin 1D engines will, on that first stage, will shut down. Next will be stage separation, and that's when, as the name suggests, the first and second stages will separate. SES-1, or second engine start one, is where we will light the Merlin vacuum engine on that second stage. And fairing separation is when those two fairing halves will separate and fall away from the second stage. Coming up now to main engine cutoff. Separation confirmed. And back startup. As you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful main engine cutoff, stage separation, and SES-1. We're now coming up on fairing separation from the second stage in just a few seconds. That is the first stage extending the grid fins on the left-hand side of your screen, and second stage on the right. Fairing separation confirmed. Beautiful view of those two fairing halves separating and falling away from the second stage, exposing our stack of Starlink satellites. We will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, Doug. Both of the fairing halves that supported today's mission are flight proven with one half flying for its eighth time and the other for its 10th. Gorgeous view of the second stage engine, that MVAC engine or Merlin vacuum engine. There's one single engine on the second stage. Currently the first stage not currently on screen, but it is on its way back to Earth toward our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas. And that MVAC engine there attached to the second stage is continuing along with its burn, which will last about another two and a half minutes. Designed and manufactured by SpaceX, Starlink is the world's largest satellite internet constellation. Starlink satellites operate in low Earth orbit, which enables the delivery of high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda.
vehicles on a nominal trajectory. Everything continues to look good for both the first and second stages. Live views of that second stage on your screen now. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 53rd mission just this year and 252nd mission overall. Coming up in about 30 seconds, we will have entry burn uh, for the first stage, which is the first of two burns that that stage will execute in preparation for landing. Right now, the first stage is uh, steering itself back to Earth. We're targeting a landing on our drone ship, uh, a shortfall of gravitas. You can stage see one FCS is saved. Stage one entry burn startup. There's the call out for stage one entry burn, which you can see there on the left hand side of your screen. Stage one, which we also call the booster, has now ignited engines one, five, and nine. Stage one entry burn shut down. It has now shut off engines one, five, and nine. And that maneuver allowed it to shut Stage two FTS has saved. Allowed it to slow the vehicle down for atmospheric reentry. Pretty cool view of the grid fins there on the left hand side of your screen. Those actually measure four feet by five feet, and they're one of the largest cast titanium structures in the world. Stage two is on a nominal trajectory. Stage one transonic. That call out there tells us that the first stage is transonic, meaning it is traveling near the speed of sound. The next milestone we have coming up is landing of the first stage. That will be the final burn that the first stage performs and it will attempt to make a soft landing on our drone ship. Stage one landing burn. There we can see that landing burn has begun. In preparation for touchdown on our drone ship, a short fall of gravitas. Landing light deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. Beautiful backlit view of that first stage. Falcon 9 first stage has now successfully launched and landed for the fourth time. One of the, loss of signal. Cape. One of the younger rockets in our fleet. Now coming up on second engine cutoff. Seeker 1. Heard confirmation of... Nominal orbit insertion. Oh, great timing. We heard the confirmation of second engine cutoff followed by nominal orbital insertion. So now that we know... Expected loss of signal, Bermuda. So great news there with that confirmation of good orbit. Today's landing marks our 214th overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. And with confirmation of successful first stage landing and second engine cutoff and good orbit, that will wrap up our coverage for now. Be sure to check our social media 